Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. Today I am back with another video. This is going to be a budget check-in. So this is basically going to be all about the expenses that I had in the third and fourth week of December. I apologize about my voice. Um, that's kind of the main reason why I haven't been getting videos up and why this video is going up so late. I was planning on getting it up last week or earlier this week but I actually lost my voice a few days ago and I've been feeling a little bit under the weather so I apologize that my voice sounds like this but it's almost back so I will no longer sound like this. I'm going to go ahead and start with week three which I have here my weekly check-in pages. If you guys are kind of a little bit lost about the whole setup don't worry because I will be filming all of my budgeting videos for the month of January and I'll kind of explain everything step by step. Of course, I know there's a lot of you guys who've been watching my channel and my weekly check-in videos for like years now. But just for those of you guys who are new, definitely stay tuned for my next few videos. So week three for me was from the 13th until the 19th and then week four is from the 20th until the 26th. After I'm done with those two weeks, I will film my budget results video, which will include the very last week from the 27th until the 31st. But today we're just going to be checking these two weeks out, which I already went ahead and laid down all of my budget expense stickers, which every single sticker that you see here on my monthly view is from my shop Romina Rosa, which I always have a link for down below in my description. I'm gonna go through and check in for the, first, the third week first. So I'm going to write out the categories really quick. So we have groceries, household, eating out, allowance, beauty, gas, and a section for any unbudgeted expenses, which I don't know if you guys noticed from my monthly view, but I actually do have a few for this month. This month is just a lot of spending, I think, um, for various reasons, for the holidays, but also because I feel like I've been all over the place and like driving around and I don't usually do that. So um, it was kind of nice, I think, to have that kind of change and go out a little bit more during this season. But of course, that also comes with more spending. Um, so let me just go ahead and write out the categories for week four as well. All right, so for week three, I hope you guys can see all the numbers here. Um, first off, I'm going to lay down the no spend stickers on top of the days that I didn't have any spending. I think for both weeks, since we're already here. So I didn't spend money on the 15th the 17th, the 18th, and the 24th. Okay, so let's start with groceries. So as you guys can see, groceries are in this rosy color from the Neutrals collection. So I have one expense of $2.99. I actually went to Target and I picked up some things and I think I might've just picked the one grocery item. So that's why I kind of separated those. And then on the 16th, I spent $66.28. So as I'm going through, I'm going to check these off. So in total, I spent $69.27. And last week I had $220.96. So that means the remaining I have $151 or I had $151.69 at the end of week three. Then for household, those are the fog color stickers. I have two of them as well. One for $32.13 and the other one for $5.99. And that is a total of $38.12. And then last week I had remaining $57.83. So that means the remaining I had $19.71 at the end of week three. Now moving on to eating out, this is actually a category that I spent quite a bit of money, um, which is good that I increased my budget for this category and as well as groceries. So I'm really happy that I took the holidays into account because of course the holidays you are more bound to see more of your friends, want to spend time with more family, go out a little bit more. And so I'm really glad that I, you know, increased my budget for both of those. So I actually don't have any eating out expenses for this third week, but it, they're all in the fourth week, as you can see for the pink stickers. I'm going to write zero here. And remaining was 
Usually I would film separate videos for the separate weeks, but since I'm kind of a little bit behind, I just decided to combine both of these weeks together. But I will try to definitely be better, especially in um, 2022, about filming the videos when I'm supposed to be filming them. So next up we have allowance, which is all, all of the dark green colored stickers. And for that I have one expense. I got some leggings from Target, which I think these are my favorite leggings of all time. Um, I'll leave a link for them down below if you guys are interested. They're from Target and they were $16.32. So I got myself some of those. I believe I also got Paula some of those for Christmas. So I just took that out of allowance and last week I had $82. So after this expense, I have 65 or I had 65, 68. And then for beauty, which would be the lighter color stickers, I actually don't have any expenses this first week. I actually don't have any until the second week. I did go get my nails done, which I want to give a little shout out to my nail tech, Brenda. And she actually gifted me these nails so I didn't have to pay for them, which I'm super, super thankful about. Um, so yeah, I didn't have to pay for my nails this month, which is definitely going to help with all of the other unbudgeted expenses that I had, um, as you guys can see this month. So zero for beauty for this week. And so I had remaining 123 23 and then for gas gas is actually one thing that's I've been spending quite a bit of money on I think so this week I spent 45 35 and remaining last week I had 10106 so remaining I have 55 71. And the last but not least for unbudgeted expenses, I have one on the 14th, which was for iCloud storage. Um, I do have a budget for iCloud storage in my budget, but I ended up upgrading to the, I believe, one terabyte um, because I ran out of iCloud storage memory, which says a lot about how, my, how many things I have. And it's not only like stuff from like my phone and whatnot, but I also have a lot of my desktop files, pictures and all of that synced to my iCloud so I think that's the main reason why I ran out of space so I actually paid seven dollars with 77 cents and I think that was just the difference between my current subscription with the next up subscription which means that I'm over budget since I don't budget anything for that category so I'm just gonna put negative 777 and I like to write that in red or whichever marker I'm using for the month so those are the numbers that I ended with in week three now for week four, going back to groceries. I'm sorry if I'm going a little bit too fast. I'm just really not trying to talk as much. So I'm kind of trying to hurry up a little bit. Um, I actually don't have any grocery spending this week, which is crazy. But I honestly been really, really bad at like eating all of my meals just because I had been super busy fulfilling sale orders which I have a lot to say about that and hopefully I'll talk a little bit more about it in a future vlog but yeah so spent I'm going to put zero and remaining it's going to be the same amount as last week 150 169 then for household I also do not have any expenses from the 20th until the 26th so, you know what, now that I think about it, um, because I do have an unbudgeted expense here for Home Depot, I did have to get a, a duplicate of um, my house key because I ended up losing it. It was this whole thing, guys. <laughs> this whole thing that maybe I'll talk about one day, but <laughs> what I'm thinking is that instead of marking it as, as an unbudgeted expense, which that was what I did, I'm just gonna mark it out of my household category because I mean, that is something for my home. So I think I'm just going to switch it really quick. So I'm going to use one of these stickers and I'm going to switch those out, which I mean, I'm, I was already over budget. So I feel like that's why I didn't really mind, but it's not like I didn't have any money left for household. So I'm just going to switch it up really quick. Okay. Oops. 
So that would mean that I spent two eighty seven from household. Two eighty seven and last week I had nineteen seventy one. So that means that remaining at the end of this week I have sixteen eighty four. The next for eating out, which I have quite a few transactions here. I have one for Poke Bar on the 20th, it was $14.32. Then on the 22nd, I went out to eat with Victor and his sister Brenda. We ended up getting pho, so me and Victor just split that because we wanted to treat Brenda. And then I also got some ice cream, which was $9. And then last but not least, a lot of eating out this week. Checking this off as I go. I had Chick-fil-A that was $10.24. And the last eating out expense that I have here, which I do consider this eating out, but I went ahead and reloaded my Starbucks card with $10. So in total for eating out this week, I spent $74.94. So 74.94 minus 112.16, which is what I had remaining the prior week, means that for this week, I had 37.22 remaining. So that's for eating out. That's actually not bad to be at um, in week four. And of course, whichever amounts I don't use, I mean, with the exception of groceries, I will go ahead and roll over for the next month, which I'm trying to think if I'll be able to do cash envelopes. I'm still thinking about it. And so we will go ahead and see. But for now, I can just go ahead and, you know, roll over the amount since I have this rollover section here that I typically use in the very first week. And you guys will see that in January if I end up doing that. So definitely stay tuned. Next for allowance, I do not have anything this week zero and I had 65 68 remaining for beauty I purchased a pack of um, a shampoo and conditioner on Amazon that was 1946 which is all that I spent since I mentioned that I didn't have to pay for my nails this time. I actually didn't pay for my nails last time either, last month, but you guys didn't see that because I wasn't budgeting then, but that was kind of just my payment for some videos that I had to edit for Brenda. So I don't think we're gonna keep doing that. I think that was just kind of just like a one-time thing, um, but I definitely do appreciate not having to pay for my nails. I really, really do. So that means that I have 103. 77 remaining here and now for gas gas is a completely different story for sure i pumped gas twice this week which is super crazy but i ended up going to holiday road which all these like events and what i'm talking about i probably mentioned in my vlogmas videos so definitely go ahead and check those out if you guys are interested but yeah i was just around a lot i guess this week and i had to pump twice so i pumped 45.82 on monday and then 47.35 on Saturday. So in total, I spent 93.17 for gas this week, which I'm certainly over budget since last week I only had 55.71 remaining. So that means that I am over budget by 37.46 which is okay. It's fine. We're fine, guys. As long as I know exactly why it is that I was over budget, I honestly don't mind being over my budget, if that makes sense. I just really like that I have this whole system and that I track my expenses so that in that way I can pinpoint to the reason why. And the reason was because I went to Holiday Road um, and I've just been out and about. So that makes complete sense to me, which is all that matters. And then last but not least from budgeted, I did have one right here, which says Christmas. And the reason I have this is because I did go over budget um, in Christmas, like with Christmas presents, stocking stuffers and all of that. It was only $5.94 because I already did have quite a big amount 
of money saved for Christmas presents and all of that in my sinking funds. So, so I really do not mind that I was over by this amount. It's honestly not as bad as I thought it was going to be. So I'm, you know, I'm happy, but obviously I'm over budget in that as well. So I'm gonna go ahead and add last week's unbudgeted amount with this week's. So in total, that is negative 13. 71 which aside from those two numbers i feel like everything else looked pretty good in week four but definitely lots of driving this week so yeah i think that is pretty much it for the weekly check-in part of this video like i mentioned definitely stay tuned to see how i ended um, my results for this month you know you win some you lose some i have extra money for beauty but I'm over budgeting gas and a few other um, unexpected expenses like iCloud storage and Christmas. So yes, that was it for the weekly check-in part of this video. And now moving on to my sinking funds. Um, I did have a few transactions. So I'll go ahead and show you guys my transaction log for them. I've been liking just grouping all of like my Christmas presents and stocking stuffers. So from the 13th until the 19th, I spent 323 with 56 cents for my Christmas sinking fund. Then on the 17th for my gift sinking fund, I spent 74.73, and that was for my cousin Monique and her boyfriend Joe's um, birthday. Then on the 19th, I spent $20 for my miscellaneous fund, and that was for parking at LA Live. On the 20th, from my entertainment fund, I spent $89.86, and that was for holiday road tickets, and that included the actual tickets as well as parking. And then last but not least, as you guys can see, from the 20th until the 25th, from my Christmas fund, um, that was the 5821 that I spent. So if I go ahead and add all of these Christmas amounts, they total up what I had in here. So the 92751. So like I mentioned, I was only over budget by $5.94. I would obviously not want to be over budget at all, but I think it's a pretty good amount. And that all has to do with the fact that I put money towards Christmas every single month, except for the month that I wasn't budgeting religiously, which if I would have been doing so, I probably wouldn't be over budget, but that's a story for another day. So that is how my transaction log looks for my sinking funds. And then last but not least, so that I can give my voice a rest, I'm going to show you guys my variable income page. So for this page, I don't really have many things, but I do want to go ahead and update you guys. I did get a small paycheck from Amazon, so I added that to my sources of income. I paid for shipping on the 13th. That was 1707 and then I had two new business expenses. So on the 19th, I spent 3064 from Amazon. I bought um, like a car camera mount, which I've really been liking actually. And then on the 22nd, as always, I paid 1545 for Epidemic Sound, which is where I get all of the cute Christmas music for my videos. So yeah, with that being said, that is going to be it for this video. I really hope that you guys enjoyed. Oh, actually, I don't think I mentioned this. So I want to kind of talk about it. I finally went ahead and um, put my gas bill, bill due, little script sticker on top of the bill due. And then I did go ahead and add one more bill in my monthly view, which was for Audible. That was $15.99. And I did go ahead and add it um, in here as well. So that's kind of what's going to be in my budget until further notice, just because that's something that I added, I believe, in November. So yeah, I just wanted to go ahead and update you guys, but I really hope that you guys enjoyed this video with my voice and all. If you guys did, as always, please do not forget to give it a huge thumbs up, as well as subscribe to my channel if you guys are not subscribed already. And hopefully I will see you guys on my next one. <laughs> Bye, guys.